Yawn. What? Yawn. What do you mean I'm on? Are you recording right now? Yes. I'm trying to research carbon. My hair's not even done. We don't have time for that. Dr. Wiggles. Hold on, mate. I'm trying to... Okay. Here we go. All right. Hold on, let me fix my hair. Okay. Hello, my name is uh, Professor Harry Dobbins and I work at the University of Stanford. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. All right. Sorry, a little bit uh, misorganized today. Um, today we're going to study the element name uh, carbon. I don't know if you recognize the name carbon, but uh, we use it in... Here we go. Okay. Gas! Gas pumps right here. See this beautiful car Dr. Wiggles made for me? Nice little tailpipe there. Nice antenna with a happy face. Okay. Then uh, plants. Carbons and plants right here. You see the stem with the happy face again. We're happy people here at Stanford. Okay, and then uh, diamond rings. Yeah, see the diamond right there? It's made out of carbon. See diamond ring right there? It's a diamond ring. That, of course, isn't made out of carbon. It's probably some type of alloy, like sterling silver, gold, an element gold. Okay, and here we have planet Earth. It's a dolphin. Looks like the North Pole there, an industry factory of some sort. Then we got a, looks like a donkey, or a giraffe of some sort. And then down here we got a, a tree on the South Pole. That makes no sense whatsoever. Thanks to Dr. Wiggles there. Oh yeah, then we also got a tree there on whatever continent that is, no one knows. Okay. The element that we are talking about today, the atomic number for it, is six. This number right here, six. And, uh... Today, hold on, got to get a spot of tea here. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. You may ask, where was carbon discovered? Well, once again, I'm here to tell you the facts. No one knows who discovered carbon. It was one of the few elements that was known since ancient times. The earliest use of carbon was sometime around 3750 BC. The Egyptians and Sumerians, however, are jointly credited with the discovery as they were the first to use charcoal, which is another form of carbon. To obtain copper, tin, and zinc from the ores, which are other elements among the periodic table, they combine these elements to make bronze, which they make the precious little kitty statues out of, you know, the ones that you see by, uh, like the pharaoh these times, these times here. And then, there was a French scientist named René A. If, if, right here, if, de Remor, first showed it in 1722, through the absorption of carbon, it was possible to transform iron into steel. By 1772, the father of modern chemistry, Antoine Lavoisier, discovered that diamonds... Where's that diamond picture? That looked real nice. Dr. Wiggles sure did a nice job making this one. See, once again, there's the carbon. It's nice and shiny there. Diamond ring right here. And then, of course, the other element of silver or gold. Okay, where was I? And then... By 1789, it was classified as an element and was published in textbooks among the world. Okay, now we're going to watch an episode of My Man Vs. Wild with Professor Harry Dobbins, which is me. You can see this on TV on the SAM Network every weeknight on 7 Central. I hope you enjoy it. Here we are, in the middle of nowhere. Actually, I think my producers told me it was the middle of Brazil. It looks like the rainforest. Here we are, gonna follow this here trail. Stay on me. Today we're looking out for the element carbon. It's very
very hard to find in nature, so hopefully we get to find something here today. As you can see here, there's a lot of leaves on the ground this time of year. No one knows why though. Even the Brazilians don't. Here we go on this first part of the trail. As you can see, there's nothing here. No animals, nothing. It's very barren wasteland here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, we got something here. As you can see there, that's a, looks like Dan and Oiko's yogurt. That's my first food source for today. First, I'm gonna have to wrangle this mess. If my producers would give me my spoon, that'd be really awesome. As you can see, it went all over my face. Looks like we have the flavor of key lime pie. That's really good. See, right here is an excellent source of protein. And it, uh, it also has some uh, good cholesterol in it. That's not good for you. It also has 17 grams of sugar and 18 carbs. And right, we're gonna continue on this trail here. That is some very good yogurt. This is also very hard to find in nature. You really can't find these along these certain trails like this. I'm very lucky to find this. We need to be looking out for the element carbon here. So if you guys can help me out, try to find some stuff, that would be very helpful. There's a trail down there. But it looks like that coyote mother's going to attack, so we don't want to go down there. Might be a little dangerous. We're going to continue on here. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me finish this real quick. That was very good. But we got a source of carbon here. Oh, my hair. Sorry about that, mate. Here you go. If you can see this, this is diamonds. This is very hard source of carbon right here. I don't know if you can see the shininess of it, but that is one form of carbon other than its opposite graphite lead, which we are also looking at for today. I'm just going to stick this in the back pocket and test that at the lab. We're going to continue on. Here we are today in the middle of Brazil. The producers told me it was the rainforest. Unfortunately, we're in the dry climate this year and it's heading towards nighttime. So we're going to need a source of uh, shelter to help me out here. Unfor unfortunately, there's no sources of shelter around here. So we're going to have to find something. Keep an eye out if you see anything. There's a birdhouse over there, but I don't think I can fit in that. As you can see here, found a cardboard box. I'm going to have to mend this to fit my head. And we're going to have to find a tactical spot so none animals can get me. If I could just hand me my tools, that would be very nice. Alright, we're going to have to build this to fit my head. It's obviously too small, so we're going to have to keep on going. We're going to have to hurry before it hits night time or all the coyote mothers are going to be seeking out for my blood. Alright, now that we got this in here, we're going to take a night out and hopefully wake up to some food in the morning.